Hello everybody and welcome to my Film It Friday. If you want to see what I've been up to this week, keep watching and also you need to watch to the end of this week's Film It Friday because something epic is coming your way. everyone I am back in my normal position for my film it Friday so I hope everyone's had a lovely week the weather hasn't been that amazing this week in the UK it's been actually quite miserable and Monday is a bank holiday now you need to keep watching to the end of this video because there is something epic it is a challenge if you're into challenges but I thought it'd be quite nice to do something for the bank holiday and it involves this and it also involves this. So you have to keep watching to the end of today's podcast slash Film It Friday to find out what is going on. So what have I been up to? I have been doing my mum's blanket. This is, look, the amount of yarn I've got left. I do have more. It is just this. So this is the Hydrangea blanket from Attic 24, but I'm just doing it in two colors, if you excuse that bit. So these are just some, it's just DK from, it's Robin DK from Thomas Ramsden. I will put all the links below if you like these colors and want to give it a go, and I will put the link to the pattern that is free. It is not a video tutorial. Tutorial? Yeah, that's right, tutorial. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, it is a written pattern, but she does do step by step, really thorough pictures. So if you're not that confident at patterns, give this a go. It is really easy, I promise you. It is suitable for beginners, intermediate beginners, I would say. And the other thing that I got this week, which I am completely in love with, is this book. Now, I have got um, Geek Sheet Crochet by Nikki Trench, which is another one of her books. And don't be put off by the words crochet cozies, because yes, it does sound a little bit old lady, but I promise you, this book is amazing. Especially if you're into vintagey style stuff like I am. So there is, let me start at the start. Um, she goes through, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. So she goes through all the different types of stitches, slip knots, um, half treble, there's like where to insert your crochet hook it is really good if you are brand new to crochet i would definitely advise this book i will leave the link below you can get it from amazon so she has got lots of patterns for ipad covers mobile thing hoses but the ones that i love i mean they're so pretty they're not like little old lady kind of things i love nikki trench stuff um, let me see if I can find. So you can make stuff for old jars. Um, look. For your egg cups. That's very cute. And I love this. I'm a bit teapot crazy, as you can tell. Oh my. Teapot that the lovely girls from Crochet Beginners Group bought me for my birthday. The Bristol lot. So there's some beautiful tea cozies and look ready for winter hot water bottle cozies I mean who doesn't like a hot water bottle if you don't like a hot water bottle are you even human because everyone loves a hot water bottle there is normal water bottle covers look at that <laughs> it's so pretty 
There are just loads and loads and loads of gorgeous makes for your cafetiere. Have I said it right? I don't drink coffee, I drink tea. Um, so I hope I said cafetiere. Um, let me see, there was something else in here that I did think was kind of random which I don't really get these. This is the one bit that made me kind of think. It's crochet covers for your colouring in pencils. Somebody must use them. Bit random. But anyway, yeah, this book, Nikki Trench, crocheted cozies, and there is so much lovely stuff in here for Christmas. So definitely, definitely get the book. I will leave the link below. So, I am doing a little fun bank holiday challenge just for, I mean, it doesn't, obviously, if you're not in the UK, it's not gonna be a bank holiday. Um, it's just a bit of fun, get people to join in, post their videos. So it is the Yarn Wind Challenge. You heard it here first, Crochet Tribe, the Yarn Wind Challenge. Now I have made, well me and Megan have made, the most exciting trailer that I'm going to pop on to the end of this video for you to watch. It is epically good. <laughs> I mean good. So for your yarn wind challenge you will need one 100 gram skein, skein, ball, whichever way you want to say it of DK yarn. Now it has to be DK because anything else is just cheating because if you choose chunky, it's gonna be less length. So this one is 300 meters if you're in the UK or 328 yards if you don't use meters, which is, is that Imperial? I think that's what they call it. I think yards is Imperial. I'm a metric kind of girl. I'm a kilos girl. Um, so, DK, grab yourself some of this. Grab yourselves your wool winder. If you haven't got a wool winder, definitely get a wool winder. It will change your life, seriously change your life. I'll put the link below to this one. This is the Knit Pro one. It is a little bit more expensive, but it is brilliant. So, that said, I'm gonna play the trailer in a second because I'm attaching it to the end of this video. Hope everyone has a lovely week. I will see you Sunday for New Stitch Sunday. Yeah, that is it. Um, enjoy the weekend and enjoy the trailer. Put a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the trailer and the challenge. Please be kind, okay? <laughs> Please be kind. Have a lovely rest of the week and weekend and I'll see you on Sunday. Take care, happy crocheting. Yarn challenge, the after party. <laughs> <laughs> this after party is going to be going on for quite a while. <laughs> mm.